Hi everyone, welcome back to E.W Legal Series. For those of you who are new to my channel, hi, my name's Ellie, I'm a second year law student and my channel gives insight into the legal industry. I chose this topic because it's something which I feel like a lot of people are interested in, especially when they go to look at law firms or when they're looking at joining a chamber. I'm going to divide this video into two parts. I'm going to talk about the main two routes into law, which are solicitor and the barrister routes. So we'll start with Blackstone. So this is the top UK chambers. Women junior and pupil barristers has a 37 to 63 ratio. So that's 37 women to 63 men. Women QC to men QC is 19.2 to 80.8. White to black junior and pupil barristers is 83.8 to 13.0 and then white to black QC is 96.2 to 3.8. Disabled is zero. We then have fountain court chambers which junior to pupil barristers male to female is 74 to 23 QCs is 85 to 15 junior pupil white to black is 87 to 10.5 uh, you may see a bit of a disparity in some of the percentages I'm giving to you because some people when they're doing questionnaires decide to not take part or to not say. Let's move on to Essex Court Chambers. A junior male 50, a junior female 33, white combined is 114, black combined 11 people. One QC with a disability, I feel like it's consistently a common theme within the law and just generally that for someone to be disabled, you know, they have to have a physical disadvantage over another person. Now, this is not always the case. Most often the case that it wouldn't actually hinder their ability to do the job, but they're just discriminated against it. The thing is, with disability, we can't rely on these statistics fully because people might, might not disclose it because they don't want it to affect them. They don't want it to define them. So let's move on to our last chambers, which is matrix chambers. Overall gender is 54 to 46, so that's men to women. BAME is 86 to 14, so when we're talking about BAME, we're talking about Black Asian minority ethnic group. State to fee paying school is pretty good, it's 64 to 23. So out of the top five law firms, the one I was very impressed with and I'll start with because I'm optimistic was Linklater. It exceeded their target for female partners, which is now 33%, which is amazing. That's higher than anything I've seen elsewhere. If you can show me any different, I'd love to hear it in the comments below. More bonuses were paid to women than men. 57% are female, 43% are male. Amazing. 36% are Christian. Now, originally, I thought that looked quite high, but then I realised 52% of the UK population are Christian. So that was quite, you know, that opened my mind a bit to religion itself. 3% are disabled. 19% went to school out of the UK. If you don't already know about Linklater's big magic circle firms, they usually have an international touch. So let's talk about DLA Piper now. This is a top law firm in the UK. It comes under as number one. Black again is 1%. We're seeing sort of a trend by this point. Christian 59%, so quite a high percentage of people are Christian. So Clifford Chance, this is also a very another popular law firm which um, law students probably would have heard of. 11.1% are Asian, so that's if you're an Asian um, law student that, that might be something to consider. 5% are black, this is better than previous. Highest I've probably ever seen, um, which is something for you guys to consider, LGBT students who are watching this, 10%. So I would say this is probably one of the most diverse cultured law firms I've seen so far. So that's amazing. Overall, overall patterns, guys, is that there tends to be a trend of male people being higher up. One important point to make is that what I've seen generally is that there's high admissions to law firms and the bar from the ages of 25 to 35. Now that really does say something, I feel, in terms of experience. And I feel like what a lot of the mistake a lot of students make is 
going from a law degree and thinking, you know, they have to go to the bar straight or, you know, try and become a, a solicitor straight away. Flexing on these statistics, it suggests that experience does matter because there's higher admissions when you're older. So that's reflective of life experience that you may have. I mean, you are dealing with really serious things. You have a lot of responsibility. You need a wide array of experience and skills in different things. So that's something definitely to consider. Thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, as always, please give me a thumbs up. And if you enjoy this sort of content, definitely remember to subscribe and hit the bell button.